All righty, it's time to go out and do a test drive with Sophie in the 1982-280 SL. 10,000 original mile, five-speed manual convertible. Uh, Hardtop's in the shop. Got it sitting on a stand. We'll show you that here in a little bit. But the car looks absolutely stunning. And it's running for no reserve. So that's the exciting part. So somebody's going to be taking this one home. Look at that. What a beautiful car. Really amazing condition. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. Look at the chrome. It's got the Euro license plate thing, so we're gonna stick it up here in the window. It does have these, I'm gonna say god awful aftermarket speakers that somebody put in at one point. But I would assume whoever buys this is gonna replace the stereo with a Becker stereo, the original. And let's turn on some ice cool there. The important part of this one is that, are you serious? <laughs> the Everybody. gas lights on? Who do you think did that? Uh, I'm not gonna say any names, I don't wanna get in trouble. What's it start with? <laughs> what's his name start with? I'm staying out of this one. <laughs> Jeez, are you kidding me? Yeah. Adam, every time Adam brings us a car, there's no gas in it. I'm having an issue with my uh, bare feet here. Are you? Are you driving yeah, barefoot? Yeah. I gotta adapt to the clutch. It's the easier on manuals to drive barefoot, isn't it? Yeah. I like it. That or flip flops. Well, I was told that it's not allowed. Here. What? It's flip -flops? illegal to drive in flip flops. Oh, come on. Did somebody that? say that? I don't know. Yeah, we had a comment one time. I think they're just saying that because they wanted to see him bare feet. Ah, could be. So I guess where we're going first. The gas station. Yep, thanks Adam. Can't throw Ryan under the bus on this one. Somebody made a comment about the glove box. I don't understand what the comment is. There are a couple little, no, there's not. Somebody said it looked like the glove box was open with a crowbar. It looks to me like it's. All this wood trim's in perfect condition. I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, maybe at one point, I don't know, maybe right there? There's no gouges or breaks or anything. With all this paperwork. There was your glove box tour. I love how this one shifts. I've driven this a couple times. It's, it's I, I say it shifts crazy. like butter. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's in really nice condition. I always like to look at all the the straps and everything in these because a lot of times if they're stored outside or they've been in the sun. They're kind of worn out. This one's in really, really nice condition. I like uh, a couple people commented about the manual windows, the roll up knobs. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. You know, one thing that's oh, weird about Mercedes, true. I don't know if you noticed this, maybe you have, is the steering wheel's not straight. It not it feel like it's oh, leaning yeah. towards your left? Yeah, a little It's bit. not flat. They come out of the column and they're leaning to one side or the other. It's yeah, weird. Yeah, now that you mention it. Yeah. It didn't bother me before. <laughs> no, no, now that you know that, you're gonna, everyone you drive, all these SLs are like that. It's like they are leaning to the left just a little bit. There must be some purpose of that. 
Ah, oh, we're gonna go to the gas station. Put some gas in it. We're gonna put super and leaded in it because I think it deserves that. It does. It does. It's probably doesn't. A long life. Probably doesn't need it. No. Sitting here. All right, we'll see you everybody in a minute. Right over here. Uh, it's on my right. side. Yes. How'd you know that? How'd oh, you know it's on the right? Because the little arrow shows to the right. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Oh. Guess it's locked. Thanks for the key. You're welcome. Well, we verified the locking key works. Set that over here. Oh yeah, super unleaded, 379. Okay. Okay, we are filling up the 82 Mercedes SL with premium fuel. Should we bill Adam for the gas? <laughs> no. No. Uh, here's the eye ring that, or the uh, eyelid that we took off. Looks like uh, we could have it wet sanded if somebody wanted to go without. I actually think it looks better with, but everybody's got their own opinion. I know the traditional people don't like them, but there's a lot of people that do like them. Kind of accents the chrome from the bumper, continues on. We'll have to ask Sophie when she gets out what she likes. Well, this up here? Piece, yeah. Yeah, there's chrome all over. It's very pretty. It is very classy. Yeah. Chic. Very chic. Yeah, nowadays cars are all plastic and these mm -hmm. are... This is when Mercedes really built a quality car. All of this stuff is... I mean, if this car had more miles on it, it wouldn't look like that. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, the seats look new. Really, it's been set on. Alrighty, we just put in 15 gallons of premium unleaded, so the winner of this gorgeous 280SL is, there we go, going to get it, 15 gallons of premium. Nice. You ready? Yes. Alrighty, now that we're fueled up. We are ready to go. Ready? Yeah. That big, bad Proton AM FM cassette player. It does fit the period. It looks like an 80s cassette player, but I'm sure whoever buys this car is gonna put a Becker stereo in it, 500 bucks. With a Bluetooth? No, no, no Bluetooth. Make it all original. Oh, Ten original? Yeah, 10,000 mile cars yeah. should not have those speakers. And it should have a Becker radio in it. Well, someone might want to use it for a daily driver and they no, might like a Bluetooth. No? no way. Maybe, but that would be crazy. There are none of these out there with this kind of miles in this condition. Yeah. yeah. It's one of a kind. Maybe. Somebody will. Hey, you love how it shifts? Yeah, it's very smooth. Like you said, it's like butter. Yeah. And air conditioning's ice cold. Yeah. No. Got the handy dandy just, tool. Just drive and enjoy the drive. Right? There's one problem. Tell me. The license plate holes are European. So if you want to put a American sized uh, license plate on it, you have to get an adapter. Oh. Uh, and we don't have an adapter, so I just have the license plate in the back window. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. And we just put 15 gallons of fuel in it, so we're ready to go. We can go all over. Drive yep. up to Tampa and go to the <laughs> casino. Yeah, let's go. What's your favorite game? Blackjack? <laughs> That's your favorite. No, it's not. It's your least favorite. Oh I've my ever gosh. Seen.
Sophie and I went and played blackjack at the casino just north of here a couple weeks ago, and we did not do well. Nope, can't do well every We time. had like 18 or 20. We're all excited. We're like, oh, feeling good. I got 20. Dealer draws five cards for 21. Yeah. We have 18. The dealer has a six, and we're like, oh, this is good. Dealer gets 20. Not on our side that night. No, we didn't have lady luck. We had fun though. Yes, we did. Yeah, we lost. And that's all that matters. We lost two hundred right? bucks and we had a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, let's not tell them how much. I thought it was two hundred. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm going on top of the hill so I don't roll back. <laughs> oh yeah, good idea. There you go. Good idea. Sure like getting in and out of this better than the, uh, the prowler. prowler. Okay, now you get to see without eyelids, with eyelids. Let's look at the back on the other side. With eyelids? I think it looks better with but for those enthusiasts that want it without, look at these tail lights. Look at that. This car has 10,000 miles on it. It's stunning. Check. Hey, I need a ride to downtown Naples, or are you? What, I'm sorry. All right. Awesome. What a pretty car. How long have you owned this? Um, I just got it like a few hours ago. Really? <laughs> it's very nice. Thanks. Wow. I'm very proud. Yeah, you should be. Thank you. That steering wheel looks like it's brand new. How many miles are on this? Like 10, I mean, what year 10, is this? Like 82 10, or something? 10,000 miles? That's it. On 82? Amazing, huh? Wow, look at the paint it's on that. It's a collectible. Yeah. Boy, am I lucky. Yes, you are. I'm in Florida. I got picked up by a beautiful Uber driver. <laughs> a beautiful car, classic. Yes. Wow, the air conditioning blows cold down here. Oh, we should put the top down. Yeah? Yeah. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. Huh? I should do it now. Right now. That sounds like a great idea to me. Let's take the top down. Yeah, let's take the top down. So you got your little wrench. Yes. Thank and you have you. two up here. Pull these down. There's two up in there. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how to do this. You might have to 
roll yeah. the windows down. And then do the latches up top. I did that. Next is we're going to release the inside lever. It's down in here. Hold that. See down in here. There's no way this has more than 10,000 miles in this condition. Down in there like that, and there's these little foam things here. I always fold these down underneath just to make sure it's down tight. This one here, just so they don't get pinched. This thing here, goes just like that. A little over there. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Alrighty. We'll be right back. Yeah. Sophie's Sophie's gonna do the entering the car video. Go ahead. Mario? Yeah. Put the bottomist down first. Swing the legs in. This video is going to be two hours long. <laughs> Taking the shoes off again. Yes. Again, yes. It drives better. Yeah. More chrome. She loves all this chrome. Yeah. Uh, now what do you do? car needs to have the top down. Yes. Yeah. Sexy. Very. Uber. Yes. You just doubled the price of your Uber right oh, now. <laughs> shoot. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. We have plenty of gas, right? Oh yeah, we do. Yeah. But because we just put like $60. We don't need the air gas. conditioning on anymore either. Six. 623. We'll see where it's at in five minutes. Horn work? That is not a Mercedes horn, right? That sounds weird. Shouldn't it be a car car horn like something? That's a Toyota Camry. <laughs> what the F? Mercedes built this beautiful car, put a beep beep in it.
driving, watching the camera. Yeah, no, that doesn't work very well. Really smooth, huh? Yeah. Feels heavy. Uh, yeah. The suspension is good. It's I just like how smooth it is. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's nice feels solid. car for some of these collection. I'd like to have it in my garage. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be high bidder. Yeah. Well. <laughs> There's some limitation. You have a budget? To my ability, yes. Yes, for sure. The woodwork. Somebody said it looked like the club box was open with a crowbar. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, maybe this little tiny this neck, right? Little... Yeah, maybe something there. Maybe. But... Woods imperfect. It's definitely not apparent. You know, people they, they always find like something. Different. Oh, this headrest isn't perfect. <laughs> it's, it's, it's. It's got a flaw somewhere. It has a flaw? Yeah, people find a flaw with everything. If they're gonna pick anything apart, they should pick these speakers apart in the back. Yeah, that's the one. Those belong in the back of an 84 too. Celica or a <laughs> 69 Camaro. Someone might just love them. And that Proton cassette player, that needs to go. Nice to be in a convertible. Yes.
so. Is it? Yeah, maybe it is. Oh, yeah, it is. turning into the bring a trailer video people that don't talk. <laughs> That's not good. Find uh, something to say. I know, right? Brakes, oh tail, brakes, tail lights, turn, oh yeah, yep, have fun. Thank Oh, she's being followed. Oh, there she goes. I like it. I love it. It's a jet, such an easy drive. So quiet. I love the Euro look. Okay, where are we going now? Let's go downtown.
downtown Naples, Florida. What's this big bad proton? Turn that off. I'm gonna get it banded. Well, it works. It works. It's got those 80s six by nines in the back. I don't think I'm buying this car for the sound system. No. I'm buying it for the miles. about the history of the car? I don't. No. Just in general? Well, this car was imported from Germany. It, it's a Euro, European model, yeah. so it was manufactured there, and I don't know how that worked back then, if the original owner was part of having it imported. I, I believe that's how it works. So it was probably purchased over there, and somebody imported it at some point. And I think they changed the cluster all these gauges when they imported the car in i i believe because yeah. i've heard people say well it'd be nice to know what the original miles are on the car so it could have had some miles when it got imported oh and I, i'm not quite sure on how all that works somebody can bring a trailer will definitely comment and tell us yeah. well it doesn't look like it's been driven at all no the condition of the car obviously yeah. Yeah, we took the valve cover off the engine too to make sure it, it didn't look like it was excessively worn. It looked brand new. Everything underneath yeah. looked brand new. That's good. Yeah. like you're happy driving it. Yeah. Clock it works. It fits me good. Tag works. Everything works. This could be a nice present for somebody's wife. Nice or present. girlfriend. Nice present. Or yeah. somebody that has a nice. wife's girlfriend. No comment. No comment. I thought that was supposed to be funny. <laughs> Some guy that buys this for his girlfriend that has a wife? Or just somebody's wife well, or a girlfriend these days. it is loyalty is not for everybody uh, i don't think everybody's watching our channel for <laughs> no. relationship 101 no Still a golf cart. Yeah. It's big. <laughs> I don't have a license plate. Well, we have a license plate, but yeah. we don't have a license Just plate on. Just displaying it. Yeah, it's right here. Well, I'll just hold it up. If there's a police officer behind us, I'll just hold I'll the plate let you up. Know. Yeah, okay. I'll just go like this. There you go. Upside down. Huh? You know, back in the day, we used to stick them up in the dash. In I remember, the my, yeah, I remember my dad used to do that. I don't know why. Maybe because the tailgate was down or the bumper was ripped <laughs> off, and they just throw it on the front dash. What a gorgeous night! I don't think night. they were as picky back then as they are now. No, nowadays we got all we these don't rules. And yeah, we got all these rules for everything. Yes. It's a rule for everything. Okay, Sophie decided that we need to start a, a, a new feature on our bring a trailer car. So the fact this is a 1982, we're going to talk about some of the major events. Yeah. In 1982, Michael Jackson had the groundbreaking album, The Thriller. Wow. It would be really cool if we had a cassette and we could have uh -huh. put a cassette in there and played it. 
Yes. Da, na, na, na. Uh, AT&T, the monopoly was broken up. They were the only cellular company back then. Interesting. Uh, let's see. The first episode of Late Night with David Letterman debuted on NBC. Wow. Wow, right? A long time ago. How about Disney's futuristic park Epcot Mm -hmm, was opened in 1982? Do we want to only talk about good stuff or bad stuff? All of it. Okay. Tylenol capsules laced with potassium cyanide killed seven in Chicago. Oh, that's not good. (laughs) No, you said everything. Okay, well. (laughs) What else? (laughs) uh, The Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. was dedicated. That's cool. I think we should do more to help our veterans. I think yeah. it's pretty shitty that we send all those people to fight for our country and then they come back here and we don't support them. I mean, we should support them way, way more. 100% agree. Instead of sending money everywhere else, we should be supporting our yep. people that have That's supported our... Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. Crazy. Support the veterans. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The first commercial use of genetic engineering was launched. When human insulin produced by a bacteria was marketed. So that was probably positive, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, how about the cost of living? Yes. I'm I hear the about that. The cost of gas. Interest rates in 1982 were 11.5%. Oh, wow. It's probably because oh, I'm not going to make that comment. Nope. The average income per year was $21,000. Guess how much gas was a gallon? <laughs> Guess. 1982. 82. Were you even born 99. then? Were you born in 82? Yes, I was born. Oh. I wasn't very old. But, um, I don't know, 75 cents a gallon? 91 cents. 91. Guess how much a bag of cheese puffs was? 99 cents. Wow, pretty good. Cheese puffs. My mom used to buy them a 89 lot. 89 cents. <laughs> you, you could buy a GMC pickup for $5,400. Wow. Right? Not anymore. Guess what the average house price was in 1982. Mm. Drum roll. 25000 Wow. Really good. 23644 oh, Wow. Okay. That's, uh, that's on my that list. Your stats for that we year. did a NASA, NASA mission. STS-3 mission launched. Uh, we talked about the late show. I think that's about it. 1986, the Commodore computer system was $399. All right. Uh, Let's see. The largest cash robbery in history occurs in New York when $9.8 million was stolen from an armored car. Wow. Oh, I wonder if they got away with it. (laughs) I don't know. Yeah. My guess is no. That's a lot. Yeah, everybody always gets caught. Tracking. Right? The first artificial heart in the United States. Really? In 82? We should have, yeah, we should have ran one for Canada. Interesting. Yeah. Popular films, E.T. Oh, that was my favorite of all time. That was the first movie I said, the movie theater. Really? Yes. Yes. Porkies, remember Porkies? Yes. It's like a high think, school, like. I, I couldn't watch that. <laughs> you didn't get your parents didn't let you. No. Yeah, no. Mm. On Golden Pond, I remember that. That had Henry Fonda and Jane Fonda in it. That was a that was one of my favorite shows ever. Rocky Three. Okay. Polter wow. Guys, remember Polter Guys? Couldn't watch that either. At that yeah. Point. I watch it later on. But, Chariots yeah. of Fire, Star Trek. Wow, a lot of good stuff. Yeah. I didn't know that. Top popular TV programs. Magnum P.I. Oh, yeah. Fan or not fan? Yeah. That must moustache? <laughs> Back then. Yeah, you like the moustache? Uh, Dynasty. I never got oh, into yeah. that. Did I you get into that? that? Night Rider. Night Rider, the talking mm-hmm. car. Yeah, that was cool. Oh, here's down your alley. Born in 1982, Andy Roderick. Mm. Isn't he a tennis player? Yeah, I think so. Roderick, hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Leanne Rimes. Yeah. She's young. Prince William. 
technology, the first CD player was sold in Japan. Do you know who the Prime Minister was of Canada? Prime Minister. Uh, Hasn't it? Yeah. Has it yeah. been Trudeau for everybody? That's his, well, that's his son. Is that now. the dad? Yeah. Pierre? That's the sir. Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Yeah. I wonder who the president was. Oh, Ronald Reagan. Reagan? So that means Jimmy Carter was right before that. That's probably why I think Reagan became president in 80. So the interest rates started probably coming down because I think when Carter was in, they were at an all time high. Hmm. I'm going to keep my mouth shut right now. Yeah, I'm not yeah, making yeah. any no, comments. Any further. Political? Yeah, no. Keep that out. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that bumper sticker. Stand up for your country. We're just talking about the veterans. Everyone should stand up for our country. Yeah, our veterans should be supported more instead of all these other countries. Okay. Okay, we're coming to the tail end of our uh, Bring a Trailer yes, featured right. of the 1982 280 SL, 10,000 miles. Wow, amazing. Wow. Manual, five speed, amazing condition, convertible. Gorgeous car. Ladies Everybody's and gentlemen. Be really, yep. really happy. And it's no reserve, so it no is selling. Reserve. It is selling. It's going to a new home, yeah. hopefully in a very nice private collection. Uh, congratulations to the winner, because you're getting a nice one. What do you think it's going to sell for? It bid to last time, it bid to 42000 42? Yeah. I think it's going to sell for 40, 47 to 53 I think it's going to be right around, right around 50. Cause it's it, a gem. It, it sold or it was valued at one time in the 60s, in the mid-60s. Yeah. And it's got similar miles on it. I think it had 9,800 miles on it. So I'm going to say 47. Maybe okay. like 50 to 53. Do we, do we pick where it's going? What's the city and state? Well, I, I Let's just go state. I said Florida. Florida. You say it's staying in Florida. I'm going to say... Have we ever got one right? <laughs> I don't think we have. Actually, yes. One of them stayed in Florida. You and you said it. Florida? No, I think you, you said Florida. I don't generally say Florida. I always figure they're going somewhere else, but a lot of our cars stay in Florida. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Northeast. Some East Coast European gentleman or gentlewoman. Yeah, this will be a nice yes. car for a lady. Oh, a lady? Yeah. She could drive this yeah. car to her hair appointments and nails. Can you imagine? Get the nail appointments. Yes. Nails. Spa. It's got the six cylinder. Shopping. Shopping. You could take these speakers out of here and fill yes, it up with, fill up with, with bags. Uh, bags, shopping bags. There's lots of room back there, really. And the trunk's big. All right. Thanks, everybody. Good luck. Good luck. We'll see you soon.